Hello one and all and welcome to YouTuber Review, a show where we go through some of the biggest names in YouTube and analyze them for their quality of content, the current status of their channels, and the personalities they put behind it, while at the same time giving them a minor helping of criticism, but only as long as you spell minor like this. On our last episode, the My Wheel selection chose none other than the blue-haired gamer, Trollsus. A man mainly known for his Call of Duty videos. However, before you say anything about his Call of Duty playing, well, he's actually a Call of Duty YouTuber that doesn't clickbait too much. Well, at least in the sense that when he does it, it's actually the main point of the video instead of just one little bullet point in a massive, poorly put together and unentertaining vlog. In fact, Trollsus is one of the few major Call of Duty channels that haven't transitioned over to vlogs, instead still focusing on the main game that his channel was built around, only every so often making some update videos or tiny little sketches, most of the time very comedic in nature. Meanwhile, keeping all of his videos pretty decently edited, all of the videos do seem relatively high effort when you're watching them. However, what if you're someone who doesn't really enjoy Call of Duty or Call of Duty videos? I myself would be one of these people. I'm not just someone to sit down and watch someone play Call of Duty all afternoon. Really, it would take something special for me to actually spend time watching a Call of Duty YouTuber. It's just not my type of video. And hell, if you're someone like me that doesn't like Call of Duty YouTubers, you're not really interested in the game, you may be tempted to click off this video and just leave right now because you may not be interested in them. And I encourage you to stay. Because I promise you, while Trollsus himself may seem like your average Call of Duty YouTuber, there's actually much more to his channel than you would see at first glance. But I will get into that in just a minute. This is the introduction after all, let's hop into the real review. <laughs> Call of Duty YouTuber by the name of Trollsus, according to his about page, joined the wonderful website known as YouTube on January 26th, 2012. And then as far as his description goes, holy shit, it's a novel. But to give you a gist of what it says, he calls himself the Blue PewDiePie, gives you the ats for all of his social media, shows you his P.O. box, and then he gives you the reason why his hair is blue, and it was basically to help support his mom for having mouth cancer. It's honestly extremely touching so I'm not going to be making any more comments on his hair. Props for doing that and keeping it. I wish your mother the best. But over Trollsus' four years on this website, he has managed to gain himself quite a decent following. I mean, honestly, look at that number. I thought trolling was supposed to be dead! And as far as other content for Trollsus goes, he has a second channel which goes simply by the name of Zeus that has 21,000 subscribers. Basically, it's just a shitpost and other random stuff channel that wouldn't really fit on his main channel. Now you probably noticed something at the very beginning of the video when I first showed you his channel, and that is the fact that I am already subscribed to this person. And that's because I actually have known about this person for a very, very long time. In fact, I found out about Trollsus a very long time ago on a channel by the name of BCC Gaming. Basically, it's a community channel where anyone can submit gameplay or videos to them and they can possibly put them up. And the series that caught my attention on this channel by trolls this happened to be one by the name of sex demon but more on that in a bit as this happened to be one of the most popular series on his channel now this may be surprising to anyone who's actually seen him recently but he actually used to have a character to represent his channel very early on it used to be this kawaii blue dinosaur and then it turned to himself wearing the little blue dinosaur and now he's slightly more angry man in dinosaur costume but really he doesn't show off nearly as much as he used to and most people would probably think that it's just his avatar. But now on to what really matters on his channel, of course the content. Which for the most part appears that he uploads 2-3 to three videos a week. And for the most part these videos seem to be gaming videos, vlogs and updates, chubs, and then occasional random skits. Oh yeah, and then he also did a bunch of videos on the Call of Duty equivalent of the CSGO case unboxings, but only with a slight twist. Whenever X specification was not met in a case unboxing, he would have to torture himself, most of the time through consumption of nasty or over-excessive food. <coughs> 
And really, these challenges are the only reason anyone who doesn't really enjoy Call of Duty would watch these videos. Because if you don't like Call of Duty, you probably don't know about and don't care about what he's actually getting in these boxes. Honestly, you'd just be there to sadistically watch him torture and punish himself. His gaming videos generally consist of him running around in Call of Duty, making funny commentary, and dying a lot. Oh, and um, here we go. So many minutes. See? I and the way he makes these videos stand out is through his unique commentary and his unique style of editing where he often throws his face through photo booth for a comedic effect. Oh. And then as far as updates go, well, that's pretty simple. He just updates you on whatever's going on. It's really not that hard of a concept. Unfortunately, the only series that doesn't seem to be on here is his Sex Demon series, which he unfortunately cancelled. And I say unfortunately because this series was fucking hilarious. And not because he used meme pictures along with it, no, it was actually because of the commentary. Seriously, the stuff that he says in these videos would probably be enough to throw your modern soul social justice warrior into a seizure. And the concept of this series was extremely simple. He would just go into a random Call of Duty lobby, find a bunch of people using game chat, and then approach them using a really low, gravelly voice. And then probably saying the most sexual stuff that he can to them. Hey Brenji, what? do you wanna be my boyfriend? No, I'm not gay. It's not gay if it's Santa Claus. You're weird. I love your voice, it's so funny. I love yours too, it gives me a boner. Yeah. Honestly, if you haven't checked out the Sex Demon series, you are just missing out, okay? You owe it to yourself to go watch it. It's a hilarious series. But we've gotten pretty far ahead of ourselves at this point. I mean, we haven't even taken a look at his first video. And the first video that is still available on his channel is one by the name of I Got Derailed ranked on Modern Warfare 3, Sad Face. Yo, what's going on guys? This is Trollsus, or Zyrex Trolls, or Jake, or whatever you people like to call me. Yeah, the entire video is just him doing a live commentary over the fact that he got deranked for trying to do a prestige glitch. And there's no effort put into this video, it was all done in one take as well. There's even 5 seconds in the beginning of the video where he doesn't say anything. Now, take this train wreck of a video and compare it to his newest video on his channel. A video by the name of Time to Answer Some Things, which just so happens to be a Q&A video. Now, I know that I said he doesn't clickbait too hard, but we're gonna get into it a little bit. Because that is a textbook example of it. Would you like a basket of exotic butters? The fuck was that voice? Would you like a basket of exotic butters? I just realized the dates on these screenshots. Oh my god, October 12th. Well, sure, I would love a basket of exotic butters. Seriously, the video itself is very well put together. It has all those fast cuts that we all know and love. And he gives genuine, well thought out responses to the questions he's asked. Also, if I were to point out any negatives of this video, I would be nitpicking to a microscopic degree. It's a genuinely well done video, and there's not really any reason to tear it apart. Something that does deserve to be picked apart on the other hand, though, is something that you could probably guess, his clickbait. Because while his order content used to be somewhat clickbait, it was still pretty okay because the videos themselves were always based on what the title actually was. It was just kind of uh, on the nose a little bit. As far as the thumbnails go, they're always completely fine, except for on the videos that are obviously clickbait. Just looking at these six thumbnails right here, you can immediately see the one that stands out. I mean, while the title itself is in all lowercase, much different than any of his other titles, meanwhile being open-ended so that it's open for interpretation it makes you want to click on it to see what he means. Now to be fair, in his defense, these videos are always 100% about the topic that he puts in the title, but still, he knows exactly what he's doing when he does this. And unfortunately, the number of times he makes these clickbait types of videos, it, it's been increasing dramatically. And right now, for the Call of Duty community, Trollsus is a bastion of hope. I don't want to see him going the same exact route as FaZe Clan did, making the classic I almost died videos when it's just like one little thing where they almost tripped and maybe scraped their knee. Now I understand that that's a massive jump to make from the videos that he currently makes, but seriously, these are the baby steps and I just don't want to see him going down that path. So trolls us, please try and cut it down a little bit. But now I believe it's time that we learned a tiny 
tiny bit more about Trollsus. His fans are extremely mature. All of his shirts have very random designs. He is 100% MLG. He's good at fitting things in his mouth. This is his favorite game of all time. Fish sticks are his waifu. And he is the original creator of the movie Cars. But with that being said, I think it's time to give Trollsus his final rating. So for those of you who are new to this show, we rate channels here under four different categories. A 9 to 10 gets them a subscribe, a 6 to 8 gets them a check them out, a 4 or 5 gets them a maybe watch one of their videos, and then a 1 to 3 gets them an avoid at all costs. So what score does Trollsus end up getting in the end? Well, everything considered, I am going to have to give Trollsus a 7 out of 10 or check him out. Seriously, his content is extremely good and extremely entertaining. However, it is very clear that his content may not be for everybody, as just being entertaining may not be enough for people to go check out Call of Duty. However, the main thing that came back to hurt Trollsus in this review was his clickbait, because honestly, it's a practice that he doesn't need to do. It makes his channel look a lot worse than it is, and the majority of the time, the clickbait doesn't even get him more views than a normal normal video does. So seriously, Trollsus, if you listen to anything in this review at all, regarding the clickbait, it's time to stop! But anyways guys, with that being said, it is time to spin the Mighty Wheel of Selection. Oh goody, looks like we're jumping into the fucking realm known as Tech Destruction Channels. This is going to be a fun one. I will see you guys there. Anyways guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. I would love a new addition to the Snake Army. Definitely, if you liked anything that you saw in this video, make sure you go check out Trollsis. I have one of his videos playing on screen right now, so all you have to do is click it. He'll send you right to his channel. You can watch any of his content that you like. Make your own opinions on him. And if you actually enjoy him, make sure to subscribe and let him know that I sent you there. You know, Call of Duty YouTubers have been falling off a little bit, so he needs a little bit of love, so might as well go show it to him. He does genuinely seem like a very good guy, so go ahead and go check him out. Also, speaking of people to go check out, have you checked out Lord Bung yet? He's also on screen. You can click him, he'll send you right to his channel, and you can check out his stuff. It's pretty good. Seriously, though, click it already. He's been waiting forever. But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. I do hope that you enjoyed it, and I will see you on the next one tomorrow, as always. Whip Flash signing out. <laughs>